Welcome back to another Bisect Toasting server tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to briefly use the Luck Perms plugin to allow permissions on your Minecraft server. For the sake of time, I won't be going over every aspect of the Luck Perms plugin, but you can check the full documentation in the link that I'll provide in the description, and there's also tons of other great videos showing you how to exactly use the plugin to its full benefit. Again, links to those will be in the description of this video if you're interested in watching. Now the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Bisect Hosting Premium or Budget Control Panel. Right now I'm on a premium server and we'll also want to install the plugin firstly. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the Luck Perms official website on the Spigot page. And once we've successfully loaded that page, we're going to want to click that Download Now button here in the top right hand corner. Once you do that, it might say to check your browser before downloading. Just go ahead and wait and allow up to 5 seconds. Go ahead and select Keep. And then now that that plugin is downloaded onto your desktop, we can go ahead and head over to the control panel again. Right now I am on the home page, but what we're going to want to do is go into the file manager here on the left hand side and then look for the folder labeled plugins. Now by default, Minecraft servers do not have the plugins folder. You'll need to install either bucket, spigot, or paper in order for that plugin capability to be accessed. Once we've opened that plugins folder, I'm going to go ahead and click this upload button here and then simply drag and drop that jar folder into the Dropbox. Once the upload's complete, we're free to close out of this panel, return to the home page, and then simply restart to apply those changes. Once your server successfully restarts, now all of the Luck Perms plugins can now be accessed either through console or in game. For our demo today, I'll be using the commands in game. So I'm going to go ahead and launch up Minecraft right now and then go ahead and log into that server that we're testing this on. The great thing about Luck Perms is they actually have a really nice web GUI that allows you to access, control, edit, and manage all of your roles, groups, tracks, and etc. without even having to run very many commands. To access this GUI, all you have to do is run slash LP, stands for Lucky Perms, space, editor. Upon pressing enter, it'll provide you a link which you can click in order to open the GUI on your web browser. You can see there are some really useful things on this GUI. You can see what tracks you have on your server, what groups you have. You have your original default one. You have the users, in this case only me because I'm the only one who's ever joined the server. You also really have some nice little tools that you can use up here, including the home button, the wiki, download tools, and etc. I'm going to show you how to easily create a group and then assign that player to a group that has a certain permission. To begin, it's really simple, just right next to the Groups tab here on the left hand side, click that plus button, and then it's going to come up with a new little prompt that gives you some information that you'll have to input. The first thing is a group name, again this is entirely up to you. For our demonstration today I'll be putting admin. The weight is a number that it correlates to tracks. Right now we won't really show you how to do that, but again there's a full description and documentation in the description on exactly how that works. If you're not sure what this is, I would just set this to a weight of 100. The display name, you can just use the same thing as your group name. And then the prefix and suffix is again optional. This allows you to have text before and after your name in the Minecraft server. So for now, I'm just going to put the brackets, admin, close brackets. That way, when I'm assigned to that group, it's going to say admin and then my Minecraft username. Once you're done, just click the add group button and now you've successfully created your first group. Now that we've created our group, we're going to want to be able to assign players to that group. To do that, it's actually really simple. Just head over to that users panel here on the left hand side and then select the user that you want to assign. So for my example, I'll be doing myself. And then you're going to see this little uh, permission down here that says group.default. What you're going to want to do is actually change this to group dot and then whatever group that you decided to make or want to assign to that player. So I'm going to go ahead and select it to edit and then change this default to admin. Great, once that's done, you can go ahead and click out of it so that saves, and then we're going to want to make sure we click that save button here in the top right hand corner. Wait for it to save, and then it's going to give you a command in which you now have to paste back onto the console or Minecraft server. So I'm going to go ahead and click it to copy, we'll head back over into the server, and then simply just paste it in and then press enter. You'll notice that when you press enter it's going to kind of spam you with some information, that's normal, that's just showing you all the changes that you made to the server after you saved it. Great, so now we have a group, but there's not actually any permission nodes that are assigned to that group, so basically it doesn't have any point besides the prefix. In order to do that, we'll go ahead and head back into that launcher still and run slash LP editor in order for that editor to pop up again. And once we're in that editor, we're going to want to select that group that we want to modify. For our example today, I'll be modifying the admin group, and then here it's going to say add permissions here at the bottom. For example today, we're going to give the permission to allow that player to op and deop other players. To do that, it's actually really simple. Just go ahead and select it. Type bucket.command.op. 
Upon doing so, you go ahead and click enter and then click this little plus button here in the far right hand corner. Now you can easily save it in the top right hand corner, head back over to the launcher, paste that command, and now that player or anyone in that group can now have the ability to run the op and deop command. Of course, this applies to all commands and other plugins that have permission levels. All you have to do is add it to the group or the individual player in order to give them access to that functionality. That's going to wrap up today's tutorial. If you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us in our support tickets, or you can view our complete knowledge base at bisectoasting.com slash kb. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing, and comment down below what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.